Welcome back. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I want to show you the transformation of this little room behind me. It's kind of a nook area off of our kitchen. This is exactly how this room has looked for the last about nine months because we decided we didn't want to use this area for our dining room anymore. And the holes in the wall are because we had an electrician come and move the electricity out of the way from under this window. We decided to remove this window and make it into a door because this leads straight out from our kitchen and it made a lot of sense to be able to walk straight out into our patio area instead of around through our living room. And Grant luckily knows how to do this, so we found a door that has a large window in it so we did not lose any light in this room. This project was a real team effort for our family. We had everything ripped up for at least a month, maybe longer, but slow and steady each weekend and nights we were working on this project. And the door install only took one day, but then of course all the patching and painting and fixing everything up takes so much longer. Here we were on the final stretch of this door install project, just sanding down the patches, painting everything, and installing the doorknob and the lock for this door so it could finally be secured. Here I'm just hanging everything back up from around the corner. There were holes in this wall as well from moving some of the electrical around. We also, after painting this little patch, Grant said, no way, that is way too dark. So oh, we're gonna just go with this lighter color. It's called Top Sail by Sherwin-Williams and I'm just going to go with that. Hopefully it will give this wall a different look and with two coats, hopefully it will stand out more than it is now, but man, picking paint is so hard. Once the wall was painted, it was on to the final touches of hanging the curtain rod and the curtain I got and just putting this whole room back together and decorating it in a way that we like. My rug I just ordered for this little area here just arrived, so I'm really excited to see how it's gonna look in this space. We love to collect art from places that we've been to and places we love. We had gone on vacation to Hawaii, so we found these prints and thought they would be perfect in this room. Now it was on to building this bench that we ordered offline. My mom thankfully was there to help me with this because while it was easy, it did take a little bit of time to figure it all out and get it put together. In the last
last two years that we've lived here, this space has transitioned many times. We started out with our dining room table in here, but it was way too crowded when everyone would pull the chairs out, they would be touching either side, and then it was hard to get by. So we decided to rearrange everything and eventually this space is going to become part of the kitchen. So this wall will be removed. We will have a peninsula come out to about here where people can sit at it. And then we will have cupboards going the whole way with countertop all the way until you hit the wall here. Here is our dining room table. So this is another reason why we want to have this open because we walk from the dining room table and straight into the kitchen all the time. So I'll just go through and talk about where I got everything from. We've had this for quite a while. I just moved it from a different area in our house into here. Then I wanted something rounded on this wall, so I found this clock at Target, and it's great because we didn't have a clock anywhere in this section of the house. Then I wanted some curtains to soften up this area. I found these at Target as well. They're just light filtering curtains. I think they add a lot of softness, and they do help when we want to filter the light. I have had this tree for a really long time. We have our little New Zealand sign that our friends gave us when we got married. My husband's from New Zealand. I actually painted this back wall a light blue color. It is almost impossible to tell in this video, but in certain lighting, it just adds a little dimension and some color in here. And then we bought this bench that we built ourselves from Walmart. It was the Better Homes and Garden bench and I can link everything below. I was kind of unsure what I wanted to put down here and as you can see all the baskets are empty right now. But I just gathered some baskets from around our house. I really wanted to use everything we already had if possible. I rolled up two tablecloths that we currently use all the time and then we collected these prints when we went to Hawaii on our last vacation and I just framed them with some inexpensive frames from Target. And then here we have the door. This was the most expensive part of the project. And I love it because you can just walk straight out to our backyard. And then over here I just have this decorative mirror which we've had for a really long time. It used to be in our kitchen in our old house. Adds a little something to the room. And then this rug I just got from Rugs USA. And I love their rugs. I have the other one in my living room from there. And it's just a way to absorb noise and make the room feel very cozy. So why would we invest all this time and energy to make this space set up the way it is now? And the reasoning is we are not going to be doing our kitchen for a really long time, years down the road. And we've had this space empty for about maybe nine months or longer. All we had had in here was a little cupboard here where we had some plants set. So I just think it is so important to make your home cozy for the moment you're going to be in. And since this is years down the road of turning this into the kitchen, we wanted to make this as cozy and warm as possible and as functional as possible. And I read a book a while back, The Cozy Minimalist, and I can link it down below. But she talks about how it is so important to live in the now and make your home very cozy and warm no matter what stage you're in. So even if you don't own your home and maybe even if you can't even paint walls, maybe you can put up that removable wallpaper. Just make your house uh, a place where you can be happy in and make it cozy for yourself. And one reason why we added a rug here is because there is an echo in this house. Maybe you can hear it in the video, but there's such an echo and I wanted to try to absorb as much noise as possible. I also wanted to make this a functional area without crowding it too much since I did want to stay uh, very 
minimal to a degree, but we also do like to have furniture. We like to decorate. I'm super happy with the way this all turned out and I think it's gonna be a great area until we do have the time and energy to redo our kitchen. If you like this sort of video, you might wanna follow me over on my vlog channel, Simply Shannon, where I share a lot more home improvements and projects that we're doing around this 1950s fixer-upper. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.